This pizza pan fits in my small tabletop oven, which I will show you what that looks like a little bit later. I've used this to make cauliflower pizza many times. I've used it to make other types of pizza. It just seems to work. Now this is a silicon non-stick paper and I've been using it for a couple of years, no problem. I did put a little olive oil on it so it would not stick. Now this could be part of the of my problem, I'm not really sure. The batter was not runny like you said, but more thick. So I had to add a little bit more water in the blender, but I could see it still was on the thick side, but I was able to use it anyway. I can be lazy too, so I always use this tomato paste when I'm making pizza. It has a great taste, has a little bit more sugar than I probably would like. Seldom do I make pizza sauce from scratch because it's just too labor intensive for me. It spreads on so nicely. Now I am ready for the toppings used what I had in the fridge. Not too much creativity, but I was feeling a little blah. But I wanted to get this done since the lentils soaked so long in the fridge. I really like these three toppings, onions, mushrooms, and minced garlic. No sautéing, just right on the pizza. The tabletop oven, which works well to my surprise, I've baked bread in this oven, made lasagna in a deep dish with cream and cheese, cookies, broiled chicken, salmon, and pork ribs in, in another life. I don't do that now. And for a $60 Chinese-made oven, I am surprised it has lasted five years plus. It still is working. It looks pretty, just not tasty. Thinking back, perhaps I soaked the lentils too long and kept them in the fridge an extra day before I made the pizza. I did take them out of the water and just put them in a bowl and covered it up with plastic. Um, and, and they seem to get even bigger. Uh, maybe that was some of my problem. I really don't know, but I want to perfect this because I like the healthiness of uh, having a red lentil pizza. And as I thought, it didn't come out crispy. It was all very dry. Maybe sautéing the veggies might have helped. But I will try again. And if you have any ideas, I would love to hear. I would love to hear.